Hi everyone, this is an easy GMAT problem solving practice question. This question is from the topic rates. Speed, distance, time is a concept that is tested. We'll solve this question using two methods. Pick the method that makes the most sense for you. At the end of that, we'll have a bonus question that employs a similar concept to solve that particular bonus question. Before we start, have you subscribed to the channel? So thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Let's get started with the question. Jane covered a distance of 340 miles between city A and city B, taking a total of 5 hours. So total distance covered is 340 miles, total time taken is 5 hours. If part of the distance was covered at 60 miles per hour and the balance at 80 miles per hour, how many hours did she travel at 60 miles per hour is what we need to find out. Solve it using method 1. So the most intuitive way to get started. I'm going to assign one variable. What we need to find out is how many hours did she travel at 60 miles. I'm going to say she traveled T hours at 60 miles per hour, right? This is the only variable I'm going to assign, which is what we need to find out. Let's say this is one hour. Total time taken to travel the entire 340 miles is 5 hours. So if 1 hour was travelled at 60 miles per hour, the balance 4 hours should have travelled at 80 miles per hour. She travelled T hours at 60 miles per hour. So the balance 5 minus T hours is what she is going to be travelling at 80 miles per hour. Total distance travelled is the distance travelled at 60 miles per hour plus the distance travelled at 80 miles per hour. And this should be equal to 340. That's the equation we are going to frame and solve for t using that. So this is the time taken. This is the speed. The product of speed and time will give us a distance. So 60 miles per hour, t hours. This is the distance covered at 60 miles per hour. 80 miles per hour and 5 minus t hours travelled at 80 miles per hour. So 80 times 5 minus t is the distance travelled at 80 miles per hour. So distance travelled at 60 miles per hour plus distance travelled at 80 miles per hour is the total distance which is equal to 340 miles. So we see one equation, one variable, solve for it, we'll have the answer. That's all it should take, about 35 to 40 seconds to solve this question. Quickly wrap it up, 60t plus expand this which is 80 times 5 which is 400 minus 80t is equal to 340. 60 minus 80 is equal to minus 20t plus 400 is equal to 340. Let's get the 340 to this side and minus 20 to the other side. So that will become plus 20t and this 400 minus 340 will leave us with a 60. 20t is equal to 60. t is equal to 60 upon 20 which is equal to 3 hours. So she covered 3 hours at 60 miles per hour and the remaining 2 hours at 80 miles per hour. So this basically completes the question for us. We'll do it a little differently. As I said, method two, this is perfectly all right. Doesn't take more than 45 seconds, as you would have realized. Method two is using the rule of allegation. Right. So how are we going to proceed with method two? She took a total of five hours to cover a distance of 340 miles. So 340 divided by five is the average speed at which she traveled. So that works out to 68 miles per hour. Part of it at 60 part of it at 80. The combination of these two in some ratio has resulted in 68 miles per hour, which is a weighted average speed for this entire journey. So low average, high average mean, high minus mean 80 minus 68, which is equal to 12 and 68 minus 60, which is equal to 8. So ratio of the times that she took to travel 60 and 80 is 12 is to 8. Let's basically reduce it to its least form. 12 is to 8 basically is nothing but 3 times 4 and 2 times 4. So 3 is to 2 is the ratio of the time taken to travel 60 mile per hour and 80 mile per hour. This question is rather easy because the total time taken is 5 hours. So 3 hours at 60 miles per hour and 2 hours at 80 miles per hour. So that's all it should take. The second method appeal to you. Try the bonus question using the second method. So 60 mile per hour is the answer. Six, uh, sorry, uh, three hours is the answer. Choice B is the answer to this question. The bonus question, I've not done much of a change. I've just tweaked this. I've made this as 360 miles. So that I want you to try it using the second method, which is the rule of allegation, and try and arrive at the answer and post your answers to the comment section of this video. Best wishes for your GMAT preparation.